reading the headline, Lakers making Kemba Walker top target after the AD deal. Kemba's not as gifted as Kyrie, but he would be considered a third star. You also hear Jimmy Butler. You hear Kyrie. Let me talk about this land a third star thing. Because the Lakers this morning now have a choice. Land Kemba. Go after Jimmy. Land, you know, a third guy. Wait to land the big fish. Or take the 20, 25 million and land a bunch of heady veterans. Trevor Ariza, Danny Green, J.J. Redick, Patrick Beverly's out there. That's the option I believe in. Sprinkle the infield, get a bench, get veterans. Did you watch the finals? Not a lot of babies in that. Not a lot of teenagers in that. Those are men. 28, 29, 30, 31, Mark Gasol, Serge Ibaka, Steph Curry, Draymond Green. I mean, it was, it was grown-ups. Fill the roster out with reliable B and B minus guys. Because those guys in May and June, you're not teaching them how to play basketball. Jamal Crawford, Brooks Lopez, again, Danny Green. Listen, LeBron's always understood. Very few players are at his level physically. He gets that. But what drives LeBron nuts, and this is when he puts his head down and sometimes gets discouraged and seems distracted, is when you're not at his intellectual level and there's not a 19 20 21 year old in america on his intellectual basketball level there isn't lonzo's smart he's not there and so veterans motivated to get a ring jj reddick rudy gay darren collison's a name out there and let's be honest about the third star under lebron they always feel left out because lebron's ball centric chris bosh felt like a valet Kevin Love, luggage carrier. They always feel like underutilized. Their agent's in their ear. You're not a three, you're a one. They're lucky to have you. LeBron's a ball dominator. In fact, the only third guy I would really consider is Klay Thompson, and that's mostly because of his personality. He's perfect. But if I can get a J.J. Redick, a Seth Curry, a Danny Green, a a George Hill... High IQ, shooters, plus LeBron. I'm not a big believer in go top heavy with a third star. You'll have no bench. LeBron now is not 27. Okay, he's not giving you 42 minutes a night. He's not interested, frankly, to play a ton of minutes on the defensive end. He's not giving you 82 games. He's going to give you 70. So the bench matters. Depth matters. When your superstar is going to be 35 next year, and he's still great, You're not getting 40 minutes. You're not getting 82 games. Go find a Mark Gasol. Go fill out the roster with intellectual equals. He respects. You got your two stars. We have a history here. LeBron works well with smart guys, shooters, and another star. You add a third, there's always the guy feeling undervalued, underutilized. Bosh, Love, Hall of Famers kind of felt like valets had to marginalize themselves. Their games got... Don't. And Kemba Walker's a good guy. Like, like he's a good guy. But to get Kemba Walker, you got no bench. And for the record, AD's not giving you 82 games either. He's probably giving you 